Hello, and welcome to the March 8th edition of Monday Noontide. I'm Heidi Thompson with Lifeguarding Legacies. And today on my show, I'm, I'm going to have the privilege of welcoming, welcoming Melanie White. Um, she's a realtor here in this crazy Phoenix market. And I just want to remind you, uh, Lifeguarding Legacies comes live at noon on Mondays. And um, I'm an estate planning attorney. I help people with wills and trusts to make sure that what they've worked for for their lifetime goes to their families flawlessly. So Melanie, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank Glad you to have for you. having me. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's great to be here. So I know everyone wants to know um, all about you. So tell me about yourself. Well, as you said, my name's Melanie. I am a residential real estate agent with my home group real estate. I have been um, doing residential real estate for the last five years now, but my entire career has been spent in the real estate industry. Um, I did start doing marketing and design um, for multifamily housing and was doing that for 16 years. And then um, my mom was a, a real estate broker in Montana for 25 years. She relocated to Phoenix. And the idea at first was that we would team up and do real estate together. She didn't end up getting her license and enjoyed the, the retired life too much. So I kind of ventured in on my own and there's no looking back. I love it so much. So um, I have two boys who are already 13 and 17. It's hard to believe they're both taller than me. And um, one of them's at Cactus Shadows High School as a junior. And then the other one's in um, Sonoran Trails Middle School. I do live in Cave Creek area, Tatum Ranch. And then I've actually been in the Valley for 24 years as of January. Holy cow. So you're like a native here. <laughs> Pretty much. I love it here. I love it. I love the heat and I just love all that there is to do outside too. Um, yeah. yeah. And then, as I said, I'm in the Cave Creek area, which I love it up here too. Although it's a bit of a drive sometimes. So <laughs> um, yeah, but um Let's see, as far as like outside of real estate, I do love hiking and especially this time of year, I, I like to go paddle boarding and- And where do you do that? Usually Lake Pleasant. Okay. It, it's right. not too far from my house. And mm -hmm. so I'll just go over there and I've got some inflatable paddle boards and yeah, it's fun little getaway. Um, and I've done um, Saguaro Lake too, which is really pretty, but, and, and Bartlett. So there's a few lakes up here that aren't too far. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Nice. All right. So um, now tell me more about your business. Okay. So my business, as I said, I'm with my home group and I've been with them since I got licensed in 2015 and they are, I think this is their fourth or fifth year in the Inc. 500 fastest oh. growing real estate companies. So okay. while you might not have heard of them. You'll probably be seeing them a lot more um, just because they are growing so much too. And I like them because they let me market and do things my way. And with my kind of creative background, I like to be able to, to market, obviously within the realms of, of the real estate world, but still. Um, so yeah, I'm with my home group. And then I've been doing it, like I said, for five years and most of my, I, if not hundred percent now of my clients are all referrals. So the nice thing is I get to oftentimes work with my friends and people who, you know, are friends of my friends. So that's all really good too. Um, I do about half and half, not quite half and half, more buyers than sellers, but it's starting to balance out more about half and half. I do love working with buyers. It's quite challenging so, in the market right now. So that's going to be a question people have. Is now a good time to buy? Yes, it is still a good time to buy. And the reason for that being is there's no, um, there's no indicators as of now that the prices are going to decline anytime this year. And interest rates are still very low, making homes still affordable. Okay. And if you are planning to be here for a while because rents continue to rise, um, you at least can lock in a payment and know what you're paying that's affordable as opposed to having your rent continually go up and up. So yeah, so yes, it is definitely still a good time to buy. 
And okay, so then that leads us to that next question, which are we gonna see a crash like we did in 2008? No. Well, there's a lot of things different from 2008. So again, there's no crash predicted as of now. There's a lot more in place that's, that's in place now versus in 2008. More tight lending practices. There's not the stated income. Also, um, there's a true demand for housing, whereas that was kind of a false demand back then. Um, plus, well, okay, and the reason why there's a true demand is Phoenix is becoming a big inbound state of people moving here. And the population has grown more than new builds and new construction. So because of that, there is actually that demand for housing here. And um, people actually have equity in their homes. So whereas before there was a lot of foreclosures because the, there wasn't true equity within their homes. Now if they that want to sell, it's good. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So they have a lot more options. And even with the um, CARES Act too, which I don't, I need it, but there's a lot more options in, in place to prevent that from happening. Good, that's, that's good. I know everyone's a little bit scared about that. So if, if we can make sure that that's pushed off, that takes a lot of the fear out of, out of buying in a hot market, which we know it's hot, but, but how hot? Well, and again, it's, it's because you can lock in your price because interest rates are low and you're locking in that monthly payment over the long term, 30 year fixed versus like a lot of them were interest only loans and then went um, variable. So you're locking in that payment. That's really what you're doing. If you're not planning to sell, you, you might see it dip some, but even so if interest rates go up and the prices go down, your monthly payment is going to be about the same, if not less now. So it's still predicted to continue going up this year. And because of that, supplies is 77% below normal, this, this, the seasonal normal of this time mm. compared to last year. And demand is 19% above normal. So there's even houses that are probably not even being recognized in the MLS because they're right from coming soon, straight into, um, into under contract status. So um, yeah, and then the median house or median days on market is only six days. So things are going really, really fast. Yeah, yep. And so, that's probably even giving a few days to like get, get multiple offers in and respond. So a lot of things are, as you know, too, probably, and you have family, we were talking that things are going fast, same day. Like if you're not ready to go, it's not going to be there. In most so cases. you would recommend that people, you would help people then uh, kind of work with a pre-qualifying mortgage company, make sure that they have that figured out so that when they go in, they go in with a strong offer. Yes. Yep. And so really what you'd want to do if you're in a position to buy is you want to get pre-qualified first, because when you submit an offer, you do need that pre-qualification form to go along with it. It's part of the, the contract. So yes, definitely you need to be pre-qualified, especially now because you want to act quick. Um, I have had good success with buyers because I do call the agent. I call and see, you know, best close of escrow for their sellers. I try and create that relationship with them. I let them know that my client loves it. Do they have any current offers? What can we do to meet or beat where they're at? Because you want to give your client or the buyers, especially the best opportunity. Sometimes you just can't compete. There are some that are waiving appraisal that yeah, are coming in with cash from California. Yeah. yeah and 50,000 over ask price. And some of those, you know, waiving inspection, making the earnest money hard from day one. So those are sometimes harder to compete with, mm -hmm. but we at least try and paint a picture where they'd want to sell it to us more than, more than the investors from California or whoever they are. <laughs> yeah. So why do your clients love working with you? Well, um, one of them is most of my clients are friends and referrals. So of course that's fun too. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing that I guess differentiates me with some other agents is I don't have a big team. There's some of those like, you know, big mega numbers and teams where you don't always know who your point of contract or contact is throughout the contract. So you always can call me if you're working with me and I'm there to answer your questions and be there part of the way. 
I have had clients before where they hired an agent and they said, we never could talk to her. We were always talking to, you know, like her junior people that were just hired on that didn't have the answers to their questions. So that's, I'd say one advantage is I'm your point of contact through the entire process. I think that's a big advantage. Yes. Yep. And so, and then, um, yeah, also I don't like my transactions to be just like the relationships to end when the transaction ends. I do have client appreciation events and I like to show my appreciation through and, and make sure that like the house is going well after they move in and just more um, of a relationship. That's yeah. really important. And I do know if they try to reach you and they, you know, you find a listing and you're like, oh, I have to see this house. Uh, you make yourself available. I do. Yes. Especially when they're pre-qualified and they're ready to go. I will absolutely make myself available when I can for that. Um, when I know that they're good to go. Cause right now, if you're just kind of browsing in this market, they're not going to be available when you're ready to go generally, but yes, I, I definitely make myself available for the buyers when we need to. And if anyone does have a house that they're looking to sell, it's a great time for them to sell if they're planning to leave. Right. 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 And also I know a lot of people are under the idea that it's a seller's market. I can do it on my own probably, but there's okay. more to it than that in the sense of you want to make sure that people are qualified, that they're going to follow through that even the high, the highest offer isn't necessarily the best offer because you still have to worry about appraisal. So there's a lot of things that an agent can help you with on that and not just like, oh, it's so easy to sell. It's easy to get offers. You still want help navigating the best offer and the way to get through the process the best. So that makes a lot of sense. So if people wanted to work with you, how would they go about reaching you? Well, they could call me, text me, or go to my website. But um, my, my phone number is 480-200-3201. And then my website is melanieaz.com, M-E-L-A-N-I-E-A-Z.com, or even livehappyaz.com. Okay, so, fantastic. Yeah. So they could reach out to you and find you and, and learn more about you and contact you if they're interested in, in uh, purchasing or selling their home with you. Absolutely, yes. Yep. Well, and if Melody, people haven't refinanced, they should at least look into that if they're planning. If they haven't refinanced in the last couple of years, I would say at least look into that if you're planning to stay in your home. That makes sense because the rates still have been so much better. I, I, I know um, a few years ago, a lot of people were still taking out arms that were going to keep going up. If, if you have one of those, you should probably talk to, to a mortgage professional and, and you could connect them with good mortgage professionals too. Absolutely. If they're, if they're not sure who to go to, that would be a good referral source. Yep. For you absolutely. As well. Perfect. Um, and, and I imagine you also are connected to plenty of other people in for housing help, you know, like yes. plumbers and inspectors and all of that kind of thing. So, yep. I do have resources for that too. So if there's anything you need in that aspect also. Yep. Great. Well, thank you, Melanie. Thank you for being such a nice, such a kind friend. And, and I'm so glad to have met you. And I personally have had the chance to work with Melanie on, on a home purchase uh, that my daughter, son-in-law and grandkids now live in. And it was just, she made the, it, it was a scary process in this market, but she made it very easy. And, and I just so appreciate her and her thoughtfulness and her talking me off a ledge when things got scary. She was really, truly professional and awesome. And I'm, I'm so grateful for her. So um, Melanie, that, that's it. We, we uh, That time, I told you, it goes so fast. It does go fast. Thank you. I appreciate being on. And it's been great working with you and getting to know you and your family more better too. Thank you so much, Melanie. Well, this has been the Monday Noontide. Again, I'm Heidi Thompson, your legacy lifeguard with Lifeguarding Legacies. And if you are looking to put together a will or trust, and that's still something you need to check off your procrastination list, please reach out. You can find me at www.lifeguardinglegacies.com or at 602-529-1827. And if you're looking for a home or if you're looking to sell your home, I'd love it if you'd reach out to my friend, Melanie White, and her information will be listed on the post. Thanks for tuning in today and I will see you next week. Thanks, bye.